And then on top of that, Ron even took it one step farther and made it so the second level comes off. This is the big dining area right here. So when the station was first made, trains would come from Chicago, stop off in St. Thomas, have all their meals pre-ordered. All the passengers would come in here, sit down, eat their dinners, get back on the train, and head for New York. And again, here's a little ticket area. A little ticket booth in there. And with both sections off, you can see right through it. So not so much a review, because I wouldn't know how to start painting one of these buildings up. It's, it is all made of wood, and I'd probably have it all warped to hell. So getting Ron Perry to do it turned out fantastic, because he's from London, Ontario, he knew what the building was, what it looked like, and what the state of the building is. So that probably made it a lot easier for him to do. All in all though, one fantastic kit will be the centerpiece of my layout and will be the start of the layout. Because now that I've got this done, I can take it down to the layout and start building around it. So there we have it, just a final look. The roadside. It's even got the doors in the little archways. The stairs that are on this side. Another door way back in the back. Again, the detail is just... How he's glazed over some of the windows. Excellent. And just another quick glue of track side. Track, trip. I can't even speak. The trick, a fast look at the track side of it. Try to use simple English, I guess, would be a lot easier. Four and a half feet a model. Can't wait to see where that's going to fit. Thanks for watching, guys.